Well, I'll tell you what, he, he may be thin and he may not be strong, but you got Ben Wallace behind you. So you got that going for you. I mean, no one's going to kick sand in your face with Big Ben back there. And you got other guys that can score, other guys that can rebound. It's nice to be able to bring along a rookie slow. All right, let's head up to the podium to find out the uh, second overall pick. It's, uh, you go back to James Worthy when he was selected by the Lakers in 82. Len Bias, the tragic story of Len Bias. The Celts had the number two pick then. Uh, there are a very few times in NBA history, just a half dozen, where a team that's won 50 games has picked this high in the draft. With the second pick in the 2003 NBA draft, the Detroit Pistons select Darko Milicic from Serbia and Montenegro. Turned 18 on Friday, the rules of the NBA draft had to change a bit to allow Darko Milicic to be selected. Used to be you had to turn 18 within 45 days of the draft. Now you must turn 18 by the end of the calendar year that the draft is in. Darko Milicic's dad, 6'7", police officer, mom is 6'3". Enjoyed Sacramento on TV. Peja Stojakovic and Vlade Divac back in his home. He watched. Now they will watch Darko Milicic. What will they see about him in the Villas breakdown? Darko Milicic, very highly skilled. He can shoot it. He can pass it. A very good rebounder and an excellent handler. He's fundamentally sound, and he's got terrific hands. Just 18 years old, and he's got all the elements that you want in a great player because he's a creative scorer on the offensive end. He can set his man up and make a move, and with that 7-foot five-inch wingspan he can shoot over the top of people he's got very good footwork he still needs to get stronger and get the strength to hold position down low but with his back to the basket he can make credible post moves and with those great hands look how he sets his man up uses a jab step that's extraordinary for a guy seven feet tall with the such long arms but with that strength to hold position i think a key watch when he tries to get position here inside the paint he winds up getting pushed all the way out to the corner as he gets stronger and matures as a basketball player he will be able to hold that position, and he'll be much more likely to score with his back to the basket. Darko Milicic, a chance to be great. You can't say that about that many big guys. This guy has got skills. The highest drafted European in NBA history, Darko Milicic, taken by the Detroit Pistons, and he's standing by on the Sprite set with Michelle Tafoy. All right, Mike, and Darko deciding to do this interview one of the first times he's doing it without an interpreter, so we welcome that. Darko, what do you know about Detroit? I've been in Detroit uh, two times. It's nice for me, nice area. I've never been downtown, but I like first. I like people in, the, in Detroit, in club. You are a very outspoken guy. NBA fans are going to learn a lot about you. What are they going to learn first? What they must learn first. What, what are fans going to learn about you first? Uh, I don't know. I can I can talk for that. Uh, he must saw me first. Uh, is, I think he's never saw me. Like how, that's what is, that, what is my best uh, in, in court. You and your family survived war. You were 10 years old when your father went off to war. How do you think that affected you as a player? I, I am stronger. I'm, I just can be stronger. Than, you know, this, I can I don't know. Detroit is counting on that strength. Here's the road jersey, Darko. Congratulations, Mike. When he was just 10 years old, his mom sold the family car to buy a cow to support them through that war. I think Darko can probably buy her the whole farm now. Yep, left uh, at 14 to play basketball. His dad was off of the war. Quite a story We're coming true here tonight. Standing on the stage, by the way, was Pedro Savovich of the Denver Nuggets, who was going to help translate in case Darko needed it. He did not. Pace's team, the Nuggets, are on the clock. But while we have a second, Jim Gray in Cleveland with their head coach, Paul Simons.